Hello and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program 0.23 Stock Science Division. To start us out, we didn't research anything after the last flight, so trying to decide between advanced construction, flight control, and science tech, I eventually decide that I'd rather have the science, and that way I could try out some things with the new batteries, the new little uh, science bay, and the materials bay, and go up in a rocket, which I'm designing now, and... I wanted it to be kind of a small rocket, and I kind of just wanted to test things out, and I wasn't really sure what I was doing, and then I couldn't figure out what to name this thing, and then finally I realized... The Science Frog. And, uh, the Science Frog program, uh, it's designed to replace the sounding rocket program with a more technologically advanced research system. Our goal with this rocket is to transmit some science during orbital insertion, do some science in space. That's with the uh, materials bay at the top. As you'll notice, I'm putting all the communications equipment and the uh, goo containers on the lower stage of the rocket, the one that won't even get into orbit. And uh, we'll, of course, return that science back to the KSC. And we'll see how it goes. I'm going to uh, set the thrust limit on these SRBs to lower to so we can uh, get a better launch. And the moment I'm on the launch pad, I notice something has gone horribly wrong. You might have noticed that our pilot was one Jebediah Kerman, who, if you'll remember, died in the uh, fir first episode, because I'm that bad. So if you'll excuse me, I have to exit the game real fast and save edit to fix that he is dead. He is not supposed to be in our space program. And now here we go with the real launch. So I'm just going to... Let this go a little higher. Actually, let's go ahead and check the science, and you realize my mistake. The goo containers. We've already extracted all the science we're going to get out of them for this biome. And so that was kind of a waste. And so now we have extra batteries that aren't really helping all that much, and we're trying to get higher, and I'm going to check up here. Or I already did. I forget which. Probably right around here. Check my... Apoapsis, of course, and see how far into orbit I'm getting, and realize that the science that we're going to get from here is not going to be worth transmitting. So, try to get to orbit anyhow, and we're going to have to ditch this stage without really getting anything out of it. Which was a real shame, because we put extra weight on there for science equipment, but we're not even going to get to use it. So anyhow, I decided at this point I'm just going to go ahead and put my Apoapsis higher and see if we can go far out into space well actually we're gonna complete an orbital the orbital insertion first and then eh, let's go ahead and take this out into space i'm watching the fuel reserves of course because we got to make sure that if we get into an orbit we can get back and i forget whether we actually quite get into an orbit or technically are on a sort of orbital trajectory still because of the atmosphere but the thing is even if we were still in the atmosphere, it would take a long time to come back down if we didn't have some fuel on board. So we come up here, where it's high enough to get some extra science, and then we complete a deorbit burn, come back down to the planet, and get ready to burn. Now at this point, or in the design phase, I forget which, or after flipping out like crazy, also notice that where we're landing is pretty close to the um, landing side of the... Uh, Ambitious Lander 2, I believe it was. No, the Ambitious Lander 1. Um, right about here, maybe it is? Yeah, there you go. Notice how I decide to set the opening place for the top parachute at 50. My idea was to lessen the force of the parachute deploying, and that way, yet still have both parachutes eventually deploy and have it land softer. And so it, it worked as intended. It was also kind of as an emergency step. That way, if the first parachute deployed and broke, uh, we wouldn't, like, have both parachutes break off at once, and that would be terrible. Anyhow, uh, this flag that I'm planting now, it says we were planning on gathering more science on this mission, but someone underpowered the SRBs. So now that we're done with that mission, we're going to go back to recover some science, of course, as always. And then we're going to go research some new parts, and we're going to start the design phase for the SF-2. The SF-2's goal is, of course, the moon. We're going to create another lander. No, this is not the ambitious lander program, but the science frog program. So we're going to bring a materials bay to the moon, and we're going to return it to Kerbin to get the maximum science output, of course. 
Except we're gonna put some transmitters on just in case we can't return, and if we can return though, how about we bring some goo, ma goo material bay, no, goo containers along so that we can transmit science from those or transmit the materials based science if we can't return. Because I'm not sure I can build a return capable lander at this point. I mean, I know I could, but I want something slightly less ridiculous. Slightly. And at this point, the launch is a fairly typical launch. Um, I, these SRBs are not underpowered at all because uh, what we'll do is we'll throttle down the main engines to uh, take care of that. And as you can see, those they go away very fast because of that. But we also get into the atmosphere, uh, upper atmosphere, pretty fast. We're already halfway through with our fuel, but. Um, we are getting pretty close to altitude, and we are starting to pick up some serious sideways momentum. Um, as you can see, I throttle the engines down really low. This is to uh, kind of maintain efficiency or whatever. I, I, I don't know quite how to explain it, but I've noticed it generally works better if I go to orbit very slowly like this with the engines throttled down. It just always has for me, so that's the way I go to orbit. As you can see, our uh, apoapsis is getting pretty close. I decided to cut the throttle and fast forward a bit. Um, that was, if I remember correctly, slightly a mistake because uh, we have a bit of trouble having enough thrust to weight ratio to get into orbit. Uh, we lost those engines and now we're on these. Oh, never mind. We had plenty of thrust to weight ratio. That's because we have three LV909s. Here I go with a maneuver node. I mean, I don't need a maneuver node, but. I like to use maneuver nodes to go to the moon um, because you can get a more precise insertion rather than um, eyeing it because if you eye it um, and you're a little off you kind of just do it wrong but I end up eyeing it anyhow I really use the maneuver node more for timing and for getting 90% of the way there without getting the whole way there as you can see we have started our burn very slowly we started our burn a bit early um, <clears throat> Excuse me, uh, that's just the way of things sometimes, but uh, as you can see I removed the maneuver node when we get close and now I'm just tweaking the orbit so that we can get as low as possible and now we go out there and whoops, yeah, I fast forward just a little too far and now we're in this crazy suborbital trajectory. I try burning a bit here, I try figuring out maneuver nodes to like fix this into an orbit here and then I realized I really should just go over here to fix the orbit, but I want to do some science, but I realized I can't really do some science, and then there we go, I fixed the orbit. I overfixed it slightly, then underfixed it or something, I don't remember. And at this point I'm like, really, I shouldn't try to land here because I don't have enough fuel, but uh, screw it, we're landing anyhow, this is why we brought transmitters. So, as you can see, I uh, use almost all the fuel there, use a bit more there and then I ditch those into the moon and we come down for a landing here and uh, I realize that we're sliding a bit and we almost fall so I bring us this way I decide we're gonna go land it over here of course we could probably possibly return now but really I want to land actually I don't think we could return anyhow but as you can see I'm killing off speed sideways momentum slowly while dancing just above the surface and then I bounce it again and then finally I just whoops well we weren't getting back anyhow so that's not really a big deal transmit the science and do you know do what we can and then at this point I realize I can't roll over and but then I eventually I forget how I fixed that how I managed to roll over but I did and we planted a flag this is Bill of course and Bill says I think I will call this crater Bill's hope naming it after the hope that I will be rescued and then I added some other stuff in there and then decided I didn't want it in there, so I erased it all. Yeah. And get some surface sample and EVA and stuff, and now we sit here and stare at the eclipse and await our rescue. Thanks for watching. As always, see you in space.